Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Saturday, uh, October 29th, 2022. I'm doing a collective read for you. It's a general read. It's a timeless read, so it's for whenever you feel drawn towards this reading, okay? I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, because it's energy. It's contingent on what's going on around you at the moment, right? Uh, so it, it doesn't really matter what's in your natal chart uh, and or what gender. Uh, you identify as so I will be using the ancient pronoun though just to keep it straight in my head because it does tend to get confusing no other reason I'll bring out the tarot cards I'll give you the interpretation of the card as it comes out as well as what I pick up intuitively uh, I work with energy so it could be all the descriptions some are one and then we bring it together at the end okay because you know your story best we can't give you the answers you have the answers already we're only here to help illuminate help guide so always use your discernment when you're listening to tarot, please, okay? Because it can wreak have it in your havoc in your world if you don't. So and just remember, it's a general read. It's not every read is going to be for you, all right? So if you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And I'm truly grateful you're all here. Thank you, okay? I just came in from uh, a walk out into the store and whatnot. I had a lot of stuff to do this morning. And anyways... Now I'm here. So sorry I was a little late. How are we beginning the read? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. What is the message for today? What would you like to collect it to know, please? First and foremost. Okay, so we have Gaia's garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. Card number 18. So that's the moon. So there could have been some lies, illusions, secrets in and around you maybe you have a very very high intuition that could be an intuitive card here and all-knowing not everything is as it seems okay there were there are forces working behind you against you unfortunately I just heard so it could be magic as well but you're fortunate here's the bunny you're fruitful you're fortunate maybe there's a, a pregnancy coming by not for everybody okay take what applies like I said and there's there's the pumpkin could be around this time this is happening here. Somebody's very fruitful. She has the horn of plenty on either side of her, so it could be an empress, okay? Pardon the background noise, it's just my neighbor. She looks very happy, very at peace, surrounded by love, very protected, very intuitive. It's a mother figure. It doesn't have to be because you could be a male in empress energy. It just means through your pain you create new life, right? So yeah, new life is beginning, I believe. I believe she's delivering something, maybe. Maybe it could be an actual delivery. I don't know. It's a mother figure. It could be. It doesn't have to be, like I said. Let's clarify that. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is guys garden here? It's card number 19, 18. It adds up to a nine. So it's a hermit as well in tarot, meaning finding things out. Things were cloaked, maybe going in within, going into isolation, maybe, and being alone. Um guiding it could be a guide right shining a light on things where are we going with this guys garden card number 18 please could be fear the moon is also fear facing your fears as well 18 come on somebody stubborn here thank you oh two came out really the first one is this me card number four we could be dealing with an emperor okay Looks like somebody might have been defensive or they know something. The sword's downwards, right? So there's some truths here, but they haven't been spoken yet. Somebody's letting something burn behind them possibly, okay? And they're going to come out with some truths, I think. Or they've realized some truths and they're letting something burn behind them. Somebody bossed up, took, took back control possibly. Emperor, male or female, doesn't matter. An emperor, like the empress, right? It's very well protected and guided, very wise and experienced, mature. They have power. The other card, um, Black Flower Fragrance. So something wasn't right. There was false foundations here, okay? Giving false a false sense of um, security. This is the tower in Tarot 16, right? So the universe is coming down because something wasn't right. Um, they're, they're correcting something that wasn't correct, okay? It's a revelation. Truths are coming out. One and six is a seven. That adds up to a seven in tarot. That's the chariot. So there's awareness, radical acceptance, moving forward, leaving something behind, universally driven, having the structure, discipline, and direction. Somebody could be moving, could be traveling. It's a victory card, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have revenge. Card number 23, hierophant, okay? 
could be a relationship, a commitment, a contract, a court proceeding, some, some sort of overseer um, that has authority over others. It could be courts, it could be police authorities, it could be banking systems, anything that's got different branches to it maybe, okay? But again, they have the truth, it just has not been spoken, the, the swords are down, okay? Could be some sort of something to do with spirituality here. It could be religion, spirituality. There are markings on this floor, okay? So it could be something from the dark. It doesn't have to be. could be. It could be a marriage, a commitment, a contract. Anything to do with that, okay? Let's get one of these. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, wildlife. Please clarify this for the collective. Where are we going with this, please? One more to clarify. Okay, that's that. Oh, what do we have here? Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So someone, whatever's going on here, I have the impression that there were secrets and lies. Someone's making a healthy choice for themselves, not just for themselves, but for everyone involved, whatever this is, whether it's a family situation, a relationship, business, I don't know, bottom of the deck, ascending. So somebody's ascending and or has ascended, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Wow. Okay, that's at the bottom of that. That's the underlying energies, right? Wonderful. Okay, what's the message here, Spirit Guides? Guardian Angels, Grandfasters of the White Light. What would you like the collective to know for today, please? above so below so somebody's manifested something beautiful i think they have the power they have the they have everything they need for success the pentacles the cups the swords the wands there could have been some illusions casted i don't know but somebody might be taking some actions now this is a success card right tower so that's the overarching energy here we're beginning with the tower so something's being really shooken up being seen for what it is it's a re revelation Somebody could be getting evicted, tossed out of the, a home, a family, a group, a business, whatever, ha what have you, right? So something was false. It was just false from top to bottom. And the universe is squeezed, 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 giving them chance after chance, and they didn't listen to their intuition. So now here's the tower. So somebody's very worried, okay? They're not eating, they're not sleeping, they're tortured maybe, possibly. Nine of swords in the upright, right? They, they, they were behaving in a very bad way way possibly this could be guilt this could be regret grief they're overthinking okay they're very anxious stressed 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 okay somebody's been hurt here harmed emotional wounding nine nine if this uh if this resonates for you this could be for you okay or somebody's paranoid now maybe has something to do with a coven a group egregious gossip parting the ways not happy Tower in the upright. Why is this here, please? Tower in the upright. Okay, sorry. Two flipped over in the middle of the deck. So somebody's working here very hard. Eight of uh, pentacles in the upright. Could have something to do with business, okay? Somebody's a master of the craft, okay? They're very concentrated. They're very focused. Um, maybe they've worked on themselves. It doesn't have to have to do with business. They worked on themselves they've improved their life because here it says healthy choices right so somebody's really done wonderful work here they're very concentrated and focused putting a lot of effort in the situation uh oh mm. so somebody was working to destabilize another temperance in reverse they could have said this person was sick mentally unsound had addictions, somebody went um, too far here, okay? There's no peace, no harmony, no contentment. There was no comp compromising here, no balance. Something's not balanced, okay? Somebody's very impatient, hasty. Um, could be addictions here. They could have said you had addictions, you were crazy. I don't know, take it as it applies, right? No reconciling, could be no reconciliation too if this is a past lover. Again, everybody has different stories. Take what applies, okay? 
So they were working to destabilize you or destabilize the situation. And they know what they did here. The King of Cups, okay? I think they're stewing because you see that the water is really choppy here, okay? I think they're hiding, their, they're masking their emotions, but they know the jig is up, right? Something's going on. Something's going down. Whatever this was, they could have gotten some bad counsel, the Hierophant reverse, or they could be losing in the court case, or they could be a divorce or separation. The person could be still in love with you and you, you parted with them and they wanted to just get back at you maybe. Or this could be somebody, it could be dark, dark um, priest, okay? Has no faith, no spirituality, no belief system. Somebody thought they were above the law. This could be criminal as well, okay? Why is temperance here, please? Temperance in reverse. Why is this here? Help me see where this is going, please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Yeah, wow. Ace of Cups, no growth, no, no new beginnings, right? They, no emotions, right? Really didn't care what they did to you. Didn't, didn't care. Didn't care about your feelings, maybe. Okay? False tears, maybe. Okay? Maybe wanted to make you cry because it made them feel better. No, maybe they're, they wanted you like this. Okay? This is emotional. They wanted to unstabilize you emotionally. They wanted you like this, grieving and regretting, alone. Right? Or maybe this is how they're feeling. I don't know. This was a true connection here. A true soulmate. They turned their backs on you for this. For the temporary things. The temporary people. For the bullshit. Maybe they could be far away from home now. Maybe they know they can't come back home again. I don't know. Maybe they wanted to just to segregate you. Leave you out. Feeling like this. Right? Maybe it was all about money. Or opportunities. Yeah. Could have said. This is a mother maybe. Uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. Could have paid a mother to do something to you, say something about you, or could have got paid to say you were a bad mother. Said that you were a drinker, you couldn't, you didn't give a shit about anybody, you were self, self-serving and, and, and superficial, and you didn't care who you hurt, or maybe these people just, did, I don't know, didn't care who they hurt or what they did. Very emotionally manipulative. Maybe they said that was you or they did that themselves. Take it as applies. Five of Cups in the upright. Why is this here, please? Wow. They did the most, okay? They'll do anything to win. That was the attitude. Five, five, if this resonates with you, this could be for you. Fives bring change, right? Expect the unexpected. They got a lot of people involved in this and now they're walking away ashamed of what they've done. This is um, a shallow victory, an empty victory, okay? This is defeat. They went all out to hurt you. They thought they were very smug. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to get away with this. No, you didn't get away with jack shit. Hurt people hurt people, and that's what's gone, going on here, okay? Somebody felt hurt, so they wanted to lash out at you. That's why we have to go. Start concentrating as a society, as a global effort. Start going within, doing that shadow work, right? Teaching people how to do that, how to heal the inner child so they don't grow up hurting people. And we can stop the, the stupid um, cycles, right? There's awareness here, judgment here. Judgment's been called, okay? So this, the, the divine is called judgment. There's awareness here. This is going to be a spiritual awakening for somebody possibly, okay? Now the people that were involved are like, oh, please forgive me. They could be praying to the divine right now. I don't know. There were, they were unawakened. Did you see they're gray here? So they're not awakened yet, okay? They're unhealed. They need to be cleansed. But this also could be a, a decision that's been made, whether it's in a court, whether it's in a family, a relationship, or a business. A, dis a decision has been made or is being made right now as we speak. They could want a second chance. I don't know. They, we'll see how this goes. There's been lies. It's the swords in reverse, right? There has been lies. No communication, possibly. I don't know. Judgment is in the upright. So what? when you're under judgment, when the divine has got has placed you under judgment, that means for the duration of the judgment period until the actual karma is enacted down here, you're going to start losing one thing after another. Okay, that's money, jobs, relationships, health. It's to teach you a lesson. It's not to, you know, be cruel. But some people need to be taught, right? I mean, we all have. I mean, I've taught, I've learned my lessons. I've gone through it a few times, right? Because I'm hard-headed. 
I had to go through it a few times, and it's not pretty. But once you get it, you get it. You're saved, right? Like, oh my God, everything works out for you in the end. You can rebuild. So this could be fast communication, fast action. It could be the police as well. Somebody's got the sort of truth here. They're in a hurry. They could be angry. Somebody did something too quickly. It could be something happening quickly. Your judgments come down very quickly here. About the past, they want to reconcile. This could be children, siblings, somebody from your past. Beautiful memories here. There could be a, an offer of support. Take it as applies. There's clarity here. There's truth. There's healing. So maybe, yeah, somebody wants to heal. They want to hurry up and heal something. Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here, please? Somebody has a sort of truth, though. I think somebody was taken by surprise by something. Because look at the horse. He's freaking out. <laughs> I think somebody came out, lashed out with anger, and it surprised them. Maybe they wanted you to lash out with anger, and you did not. It's a parting of ways. There's lack of trust. Two cups in reverse, okay? You don't see eye to eye. So if you're in a relationship, doesn't matter who it is, you know what kind of relationship it is. If you're not seeing eye to eye instead of battling one another, distance is what's called for. You need to think, right? Somebody has courage, strength. Oh, they were trying to dominate you. Big ego, okay? Very big ego. They wanted you to, to stroke their ego, okay? It could be a a mother that strokes a child's ego. You know, some mothers don't realize that they love them so much that they spoil them, right? Taming the beast. you got to tame the beast within. But this is having integrity, loyalty, and honesty, okay? So you have to do the right thing. What kind of relationship it is, it doesn't matter. Somebody's doing the right thing. That's the, the integrity. Somebody needs to, to, to use some integrity here. Take, control of, take back control of the situation, okay? They could have wanted to control you. Oh, yes, they could have wanted to control you, to dominate you, okay? Because they were jealous. They were angry. They were forceful. Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? They didn't value you. They didn't see your value. They thought you were weak, but it turned out they were. Their anger and their and envy and, and jealousy weakens them. They don't know thyself, do they? They have to do the work. They, this could be magic, I hate to say. They try to dominate you with magic. To say that you're mentally ill or ill or worse, they could have wanted to take you out. I don't know. Take it as applies, okay? This is scandalous. Four swords in reverse. They could be fearing right now. They could be very, very scared. Yeah, look at this. They really did a number on you mentally or tried to. But now it's gone back on them, I think. This is a nightmare. This is not good. This is not good. Somebody's not in the right mind right now. Yeah, they wanted, yeah, they wanted to put you through a hell and back here. Four of swords in reverse, nine of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, okay? This is the ending of a situation. They wanted to put you in recovery, put you away maybe. This could be a near-death experience. They could be now dreading what they've done. They know what's happening, what's going to happen to them. They could want forgiveness here. It's an ending of a situation, whatever this is. So, because of the magic, maybe somebody is losing their mind. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's story is different. But, mm, let's see where this goes. Why is Queen of Wands reversed? They could have said you were promiscuous, forceful, abusive. They could have said anything. What they said was untrue, okay? Queen of Wands reversed. Something about a home, a relationship, a business. This could have been done at a party, a gathering, I don't know, a celebration of sorts. But you're stable and secure. Maybe they wanted to do magic on your stability, on your business, on your relationships, on your home, right? Oof, three of pentacles. Leave you cons uh, completely alone, right? This is being completely alone. They don't want you working. They don't want you creating. This is a false contract, possibly. Um, ending a collaboration or a third party situation. Somebody was lazy, disrespectful. They didn't want to put the work in. Maybe they want the st stability, but they don't want to work. I don't know. It could be very combative, fighting. Somebody, maybe there's an attack. If it's magic, somebody tried to attack another, but this person had an advantage. They were uh, elevated, highly elevated and vibing high. They were very divinely protected here. They had the advantage. Or this person got found out their falsities or whatnot or found out they were doing magic and people are coming after them. I don't know. 
Hmm. If somebody stood their ground in the matter, they blocked something from happening, prevented something from happening, or they're stuck, they can't move on. Um, trouble is brewing. They're in hot water because people are seeing through the illusions, devil in reverse. Okay? There were many illusions here. So somebody's feeling very defensive, maybe, because they got caught or they're being caught or being questioned or being challenged. This is magic. Somebody was divinely protected by magic. This was a scam artist, possibly. Very insincere. Okay? They lied through their teeth to you. They'd smile on your face and lie. They had no problem doing that. There's no love in this cup. Okay? It's upside down. Broken promises. No follow through. No love. Wow. And I think you should, you were shining a light on this, Hermit in the Upright. Yeah, there are a lot of lies and secrets here. Okay, you're shining a light on this. It's bad news here. Eight of Wands in reverse. Or they're realizing that whatever spells they sent towards you has it's gone back on them. Okay, this is bad news. Something stops suddenly. No forward movement. Maybe that's what they wanted for you. I don't know. They wanted you isolated, no one talking to you possibly. They want to see if it's working here, right? They invest in the wrong thing, I think. Or there's proof, there's proof of this happening, okay? Somebody was doing magic or they were trying to do something here to destabilize you. They kept persisting until they got a desired outcome. But is it the right desired outcome? Because truth always prevails. When you play with magic, I always say it. It always comes back on you. Watch what you do. Watch you, and even wishing and keep talking about a certain thing. Those that's a spell too. When you get other people saying the same thing over and over again, wishing harm, wishing death, wishing destruction, or un, to make to, to to make somebody unstable, that is a spell. Believe it or not, and those wishes are go, you're going to have to be held accountable for this. Okay, whoever took participated in this. Okay. It's all insincere. Smiling in somebody's face, meanwhile, you're wishing the worst for them. That's a rotten char character there. You have really shame, 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 right? Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, King of Cups. This is ruthless. Somebody doesn't give a shit. They're self-absorbed. Could be a big drinker. Could have addictions. I don't know. They're emotionally shut off, okay? They're not. They're emotionally not, not available. Could be a bad father. I don't know, okay? Just like a bad mother earlier. Um, to blame it on the father. I don't know. Maybe a father's involved. Not the father. Maybe it's the stepfather. I don't know. Maybe they're losing control of their emotions at this moment because the truth is sitting home. It's all over money. It's still money. There's an opportunist, right? To want to take your opportunities away. Wanting to take your gifts away. Or maybe their gifts are being taken away. I don't know. If it is magic, it's the divine's coming in going, nope, not for you. They're taking their money away, their stability away. Yes, not a gift here in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. No stability, no new opportunities until you straighten this out. Been blocked. They've been blocked. Okay, so it's a stalemate. So somebody's not getting paid. <laughs> They're being blocked. They don't know what's going on. Maybe they, maybe they didn't see it coming. There's no communication. It's a stalemate. Mentally conflicted. They've been blocked. They can't move forward, okay? The trouble's brewing here. Bluing. <laughs> Sorry, pardon me. They're in hot water. Somebody's let them go. They're removing obstacles. Eight of swords in reverse. Somebody's not, uh, they're, they're not allowing them to rent space in their head anymore. They're not bound to this anymore. Or they don't want to be bound to this, but it's too bad. Okay? You play with magic, you're bound. If it's not magic, then somebody's not renting space in this person's head anymore. It's a release. It's a release, right? Somebody could be losing a job, a position. It could be a father. Doesn't have to be, could be a boss, an emperor in reverse. Somebody that had power, but overexerted their power. They are out of control. It's a tyrant, right? Had a huge ego. Uh, lost control. Bent to public pressure. It could be corruption. Abuse of power and authority. So somebody's being let go. Yeah. Could have uh, something to do with a family and or a group. Could be at a celebration. Could be very happy here. It's an ending though. It's a 10, right? So new cycles are beginning. Yeah, I didn't want to let go of family, didn't want the family. The family didn't want to let go of you. They didn't want you moving forward. That's what it is. They didn't foresee this. They did not foresee this. They didn't want to let go of you because you were stable and secure. Reliable, dependable. Always there for everybody, right? Always doing for everybody. And now, maybe you have something new happening, a new relationship, a new job. I don't know. They didn't want to let you go. Ugh. 
Somebody had a, their nose is out of joint and blew this out of proportion. The Emperor in reverse. Yeah, it stopped here. They can't move forward here. This is not a victory. Out of control. Lack of awareness, structure, and discipline. It's a rude awakening. It's a wake-up call for somebody, right? Oh, no. Shit. It's a permanent ending. It's a profound ending. They could have wished something on you to harm you, if you know what I'm saying. It's all being exposed. Six of Wands in reverse. Because I've been talking shit about you. Maybe they want forgiveness now. You recovered. You healed your heart, right? They could have wished a heart attack on you. Car accident. Heart attack. Destabilizing. Making you mentally ill. They wanted to destabilize you. They were greedy and selfish. Materialistic. Codependent and clingy. They were unfaithful, distrustful. They didn't know their value and worth, or they didn't want to recognize your value and worth. They wanted you unstable, without money, heartbroken, right? Really hurt. Jealous. This is a very jealous energy. You walked away from them. You knew there was no emotional fulfillment or happiness, wherever this is, right? You invested a lot in this, eight out of 10 cups, and there's nothing in these cups. You discovered that. It took a while, because sometimes we're in denial. It's like hard to believe that. We, we think everybody loves the same way we do, and then we realize they don't. That's painful. But you're walking away in search of your ninth cup. That's your emotional fulfillment and happiness, right? Good for you. You're stable. You're, you're single, abundant. Independent, stable, secure, self-sufficient. You could be a business owner. You walked away. You could get downloads direct from source here. You're on your own. You're independent. You don't need anybody. You got nine out of ten pentacles. It doesn't necessarily mean money. Abundance is having being abundant in all ways. You know, as long as you're abundant in all ways, you're always rich. Okay, so it, you, this is the pre-empress, by the way. They underestimated you. They sure did. They didn't see your true value and worth. You always did. You always knew yourself. Now they're seeing there were illusions here. Seven of Cups in reverse. They tried to disillusion you. You saw right through it, right? All that glitters isn't gold. Maybe somebody tried to impress others and say that they were an independent a business owner. They weren't. They're running out of options here. They don't have a choice here. Something's running out. They're seeing the illusions. King of Wands. This is a, a leader of some sort. Male or female, okay? Take it as it applies. Um... They're a leader. They they take calculated risks. Uh, they they defend the underdog. They protect and defend. Um, they're fierce. They're war. Uh, they're they're fearless. Right. They're a creator. They do what's right. They have honor and and they're very noble. So this some leader wants to put these burdens down. Ten of Wands. So I think the leader's now seen the truth, putting these burdens down. Right. Wanting to come back in from out of the cold or somebody's in spiritual jail because they're in, they're, they're in judgment. They're under judgment. It could be a loss, uh, a huge loss of um, finances, financial loss, and or they're trying to get the confidence to, to do something. I don't know. Ten of Wands. Let's bring this to a close, please. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Sorry this is all discombobulated. It seems to be. It's all over the place. It could be many moving factors, many moving people in this. Um, but if this is your read, you're going to know right away. It's going to make sense to you, okay? Without a doubt. For me, it's like all over the place. So I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. We're dealing with an empress here. Putting down the burdens for this empress. Mother figure doesn't have to be. It could be a pregnancy. But I, I think it's a, it's a mother figure slash, slash empress. That's what I'm picking up. Okay? Very loving. Unconditional love, right? What they give out to the world. What they take from the world, they give back in spades. They're very uh, abundant yet again. That, that's the pre-empress. She's not the empress. Through her pain, I say her, it could be male too, right? And empress energy. But through their pain, they create new life. Whether through a child or, you know, um, an endeavor or a venture of some sort. They're very well protected. They're intuitive, loving, compassionate, empathetic loyal giving and somebody lied about this person page of swords tried to sabotage them targeted them bullied them right they were petty and cruel 
to spread rumor, gossip, and slander about this this person. Right? I think people are seeing the truth. This person has gone through a lot because you don't become an emperor or an empress by having a comfy, cozy life. You've gone through hell and back, okay? And typically that means everybody you've ever known in your life has harmed you in one manner or another. And I hate to say it's true because you love, you love, you love with all your heart. And that's where that pain comes from, right? Not everybody loves like you. Let's bring this to a close. Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, or whatever. Right? There was an injustice committed here. It could be a mother figure committed an injustice, but I think it was committed. It was done to an empress. There was an imbalance here. It wasn't fair. It could have been amoral or criminal. Son of Pentacles in the reverse. They didn't invest in you. They didn't see your light. They should have. They did not invest in you. They invested elsewhere. Uh, but that's also a card of you get what you give, right? It's the end of the road. This is, it's, it's done. Can't go any further. You're not giving anymore. It could be a relocation here. You're letting go, giving up. Yes, you are. You're letting go and giving up. And that's, your your challenge, this is a challenge to whoever you're dealing with. Okay, this is a challenge. They're angry. Okay, it could be family. It could be a group, right? But you're going towards, you're letting go. You're going towards your your. Happily ever after, Ten of Cups, okay? This is extreme happiness, emotional fulfillment and happiness, okay? This is destiny. Or it could have been the family that was a gold digging family, I don't know, trying to benefit off you because anybody under the umbrella of an empress gets to benefit off you. Energy harvesting, money, ideas, right? Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy that this is your destiny, okay? There's a change. Universe is backing you up. It's a series of fortunate events. But they're not happy that you have your wish fulfillment here. You are wish fulfillment. You have achievement and success. Wish fulfillment. There's a new beginning. Maybe they want to reconcile. Somebody's wishing to reconcile with you. This could be family. Somebody from your past. Could be children. Maybe you're happy with your children. I don't know. Happy memories. This is happy memories. Healing. This is healing energy. The, uh, the high priestess here has a new new venture, new 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 beginnings here. So you could be a high priestess as well as an empress. You're a highly in, uh, intuitive. You have a beautiful balance between the dark and the light. You understand the dark. You can work within the dark to bring in the light. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that you're a dark empath. That you're you're bad. You have to be able to relate to these people on their level in order to 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 bring in the light. Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you're bad. You have a good balance. Okay, it's all knowing. You're highly intuitive. Okay, you have a direct connection with Source, so you have a new beginning. Okay, you're innocent here. Innocence, innocence, bringing back innocence. I just got that. Child is innocent. Maybe you thought maybe a child wasn't innocent. There was secrets here. Finding out secrets, or somebody's you held up a light. You're also a, a hermit. You held up a light for others to see. And now maybe they're feeling ashamed of themselves, right? Nine of Swords. They're grieving. They're regretting what they've done. They did talk shit about you, right? They did try to part people from you. Leave you out in the cold, maybe. Okay? I think it's realizing. They're realizing this. Maybe there was a coven. Maybe there was magic. Everybody's story's different. There's going to be some fast action here. Some communication. It's typically good news. Eight of Wands in the upright. Could be communication, action, and or travel. Somebody made some poor decisions here. There's consequences to it, okay? Poor, it could be a false contract or something, but this person obviously is going to know that there's consequences. There's a parting of ways that I don't think they want to part. Something's happening quickly here. They made a mistake. Everybody does, okay? They're going to be speaking the truth to you, okay? King of Swords. Could be a professional, could be law and order. I don't know. Could be a police officer, investigator, lawyer, judge. But the sort of truth is here is up in the is up in the air, meaning it's going to be spoken. It is known. There were lies. There were jealousy. There was, you know, spitefulness, right? Jealousy. There were lies. They're gonna tell you the truth. They lied. They were jealous. They were spiteful. Whatever it was, it wasn't right. Maybe they weren't in alignment with themselves in their life, right? It's coming back to bite them in the ass. Now they're seizing an opportunity to stop whatever this is and balance things out. 
whether it's in a court setting, a relationship, a marriage. It doesn't matter. I think somebody's realizing the truth and they're going to fix what's what's broken here. Okay? That the cast is the die has been cast. Okay. It's been cast a long time ago. I was just told to tell say that. So this again the Empress. The horn of plenty here, okay? She she she, she knows. I, she's looking at somebody going, I knew it, I knew it. I'm very proud of you and I love you. It's all it's it's unconditional love. Once you're loved by this person, you never forget it. She's very proud of you, Will. Very proud. So there were lies and illusions. There was magic, possibly. Somebody's facing their fears here. High intuition, right? There's forces working behind you. Not everything was as it seems, okay? Is this me? So maybe an emperor is, is rising, taking back their power. Maybe this has something to do with an emperor, right? Knowing the truth. It hasn't been spoken yet, but they're going to let something burn. Good for you. Something that wasn't right. Let it burn. The tower's here. Okay, black flower fragrance fragrancy i think it was some magic here okay something stunk something was rotten the tower is here 16 revelations the truths are coming out healthy choices now so this is going to allow whoever was doing the wrong and also the one that was harmed to heal maybe bring back the relationship if it was a relationship or not i don't know but self-love it begins at home charity begins at home you cannot love others unless unconditionally unless you love yourself unconditionally and that means doing that shadow work doing that soul work looking at your the dark side of you and saying why the fuck why why am i like this and then you dig deeper and you find out what it is that's causing all this pain making you lash out and react and, and or do things that aren't right even if you felt you were right at the moment somebody distorted listen to me closely for whoever's out there listening Someone out there with magic distorted your thinking against another person, possibly a mother figure. Listen to me closely. All right? The spell has been broken. Okay? Now it's rebuild time. Where are we going with this here, guys? Guardian angels, ancestors, white light. They shall pay for what they've done. Chaos and conflict, that's what they sent your way. Card number 33. Mm. That adds up to a six. So somebody made some choices here. Could have something to do with a contract, a commitment. Using your higher wisdom. Please always tap into that higher wisdom. Somebody was dressed as somebody they weren't, okay? They were, they were masking themselves, okay? There was... Nah, I'm not going to say it. Anyways, 33, it's a master number. They were throwing chaos and conflict. They wanted to shatter your mind, maybe. Shatter your relationships. Take away, take away. Bottom of the deck, truth is being told here. Somebody was wearing a mask of gold, of greed. Okay? Use your higher wisdom. Get a different perspective. Look through that window and see it for what it is. Okay? It'll bring great balance, great healing. Okay? Great protection as well. It's a temperance angel here. Balancing things out. Beautiful. Let's see what this means. 33. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Chaos and conflict. Essential meanings. Disarray. Being at cross purposes with another. So inside you know whatever, whoever was doing this. Okay? They were sending conflict and, and chaos magic towards you to, to fuck up your brain. Fuck up your relationships. To, to fight. To argue. To cause division. And you knew deep down inside it wasn't right. You didn't feel good about it, right? So the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Now, order is here, okay? Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmoored by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. Hold back. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. So wanting to get your point across is not as important as listening to others. Listen to the words as well as listen to what is not being said. Listen, if you're in the, in the same room with these people, 
watch their actions, their their their, you know, their the movements, their eyes. Watch all of this will tell you what you need to know. The words are lies. Everything else isn't. Okay, go with your gut. It never steers you wrong. I hope this helps. I love you all. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.